<laughs> that is the hottest thing I'll ever eat. Well, dude, I, I, I might pass out. I'm gonna lay down. All right, here goes nothing. Hot ones on the Optic channel. We actually bought, I mean, you guys have all seen hot ones. We bought the actual hot one set. I'm not very excited. <laughs> here goes nothing. I was saying, I'm more, I'm more anxious for this than I am before matches. But, uh, but I love spicy food. Yeah, you do love spicy food. But this is OD. Yeah. Uh, the first one is just regular, the classic hot That's sauce. Classic hot sauce. So let's let's fully enjoy this one. Cheers, let's, man. Cheers. Damn, you like you went to the bone with it. Fuck you. Yeah. All right. First question. As an only child, me, I've always wanted like a younger sister or an older brother. You have an older brother, and I've heard the stories of uh, your brother trapping you in the basement with like the centipedes. And also I've heard stories of you like during his rain delays, like running around the bases and getting all, all wet during his uh, his baseball games and like being, oh, yeah. being the goofy younger brother. How does that uh, older brother, younger brother dynamic change as you get older, especially with uh, the career that you have? Uh, it's just harder to like maintain and keep up with it, especially because we usually all go home for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, this year, or the past two years, we haven't just because of COVID. My grandparents, we don't want to get them sick. So flying is a risk. It's just it's just a whole lot of risk involved to go home. So uh, it's just harder to keep up with, I would say. We try to text here and there. We talk on the phone sometimes. But mm. I don't know. It's just, I mean, that's how that's how it is, though, right? Like, that's how, that's it, how family is. That's how it goes. Yeah. Like, the older you get, once you flock from the nest, you know, it's like, <laughs> and especially with, like, my schedule, it's like every day, yeah. We're doing something. It's practice, a match, content. We're, there's always something going on, so it's really hard to like get away. But this off season, I'm taking a fucking vacation. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I've never taken a vacation before, ever. Really? So you've been like a younger brother your whole life, and then you've been the youngest on your team for pretty much your whole career, except for now, you're the oldest. Do you feel like an older brother now? Nah, yeah, kind of. I don't know. Like, I still feel youthful. Like, I don't feel like a boomer. Like, I'm not Ray. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Yes. Like, Ray's a boomer. Like, right. He's 33. Like, you can tell Ray is fully matured at this point. Right. Me, on the other hand, I'm still working my way up there. Okay. So well, you're still you're still one of the youngins. Yeah. I'm still one of the youngins at heart. So mm. it's... But, I mean, I, I would say I, I'm the older brother of the team, I guess. Like, just age-wise. Hmm. <laughs> That was pretty good. That is fire. Yeah, what the fuck? That is so good. <laughs> oh my god. You can really like the cedar? Yeah, that one's good. Like you can taste like the woody aftertone. That's some heat. <laughs> A lot of people have accused like LeBron James and Tom Brady of playing for their legacy uh, nowadays, like instead of, I mean, just like playing for their stats and their legacy. At what point, since, because you're the oldest SMG in the league, 26? 28? 26. I turned 27 June 30th. Ooh. Uh, does that thought ever come up for you? Like, are you playing for your legacy now, or are you still just playing 100% for the love of the game? No, nah, I just play because I love it. I love I love the team dynamic more than I love the game. Okay. So I just love, like, having a team, having boys that, like, we go to battle together. I yeah. love that. Like, that's my favorite thing about competing, and it's not close, at least now in, my, in this stage of my career. Right. Because, like, I don't know, back then, like, obviously CODs were – better the golden age of cod um i just love like the team dynamic i love getting better i love getting on for practice every day like bullshitting yeah working towards a goal you know yeah like i feel me and zinni were actually talking about this we were like once we go to content it's just gonna be steady like there's never gonna be a high there's never gonna be a low right. unless like you win the world series wars mode <laughs> but like there's never gonna be a high there's never gonna be a low it's like it's just a steady like baseline yeah and he was like he was like, you're going to get so bored if you retire. And I was like, I don't know, man. Like, I've been doing this for a while. But he's like, nah, you'd be so bored. You'd hate it. I mean, the fact that you're still in it. Because people retire when they don't have it anymore. Yeah. That's just how it is. But yeah. you're still in it and competing. And especially in, like, 
I can't believe I can't believe you're still grinding every day I, playing those six, six I hour don't sessions. want my like retirement to be like me like falling off. You want to go out on a high? Yeah. Or not even a high, just like even just having a good year, like yeah. having a good like I mean, we won the first major this year, like I mean, I'm not happy with that obviously, but yeah. it's not like last year where we didn't win anything. Like it would suck to go out like a year like that. Yeah. I get that. I'm not saying I'm retiring, but like you understand what I'm saying. Like, yeah, even yeah. if we didn't win champs at the end of it, you know, I'd right. I'd still contemplate it if my mental was like not there. So it's not for the it's not for the love of the game, like specifically Vanguard Call of Duty, but the love of the team, basically. That's what keeps you going. You're gonna get me fined. I I'm not gonna it. get you fined. I love Vanguard. <laughs> I'm saying the love is coming from the actual camaraderie of the team. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Because I mean with a good team, with with you can you can make anything fun, you know. Yeah. Just your boys, like your boys, freaking Blake and George. Yeah. Everything's fun. Everything is fun. Working but towards something. We're also not. If if Blake and George miss out on a rotation, we make a joke. You guys miss out on a rotation yeah, in the it gets heat a of the more moment. Heated. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a little more stressful in your situation. All right, here we go, baby. <laughs> Cal Calabria. Calabria. Sun dried tomato hot sauce. Smells like a normal wing. Yeah. Not much flavor. Mm -mm. Right, right? A little hot. I'm not getting it yet. You're not getting it? Mm -mm. As well as being a competitor and also being a content person yeah. and doing your whole thing with Call of Duty, you're also a notorious rap artist. Mm -hmm. Hip hop artists throughout the last 10 years. So I'm gonna read some of your lyrics and you tell me the meaning behind it. Okay. Okay. I'm the goat breeder with a pen full of goats. This, this is a double entendre in there. That goes kind of fucking. Pen, goats, and then a pen full of goat. That's that goes pretty... kind of hard. Yeah, I said did. that? Yeah, you when did. When did I that? say that? You were battle rapping a dude on ghosts. Remember that video? You and Study are in the. Uh, Wait, the what, lobby? Is, what are the lyrics again? I'm a goat breeder with a pen full of goats. I guess I was talking about my teammates. Yeah. And you, you were goats. breeding them. They are goats because you're a goat and you also, and then also the pen and, and the goat. Yeah. <laughs> no, pretty good. You know how I'm coming, baby. This, I don't know about this one. Uh, Davis, why are you always doing vision? Don't make me bitch him. Please make another video and stop live streaming. No one wants to see your drunk ass on screening. Where did that one come from? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, where, 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 when was that said? I think we were in the Scuff House basement. Was that that time? Mm -hmm. I regret that video. <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch that. I can't watch that. I literally we were fucking <laughs> hammered. I scrolled down and I said, Ian, why the fuck would you post this? Dude. Oh like. my God. There's one part in that video I go, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and we're probably like, yeah. Like, <laughs> we were so drunk. <clears throat> uh, all right. But I, yeah, nothing against you. You're yeah. sweating a little bit. Am I? Yeah, your brow. I'm just a sweaty person, though. It's probably gonna get That's bad. That's like, it's creeping, I think. The Calabria. It's probably gonna get bad. I think it's creeping. Is it? It's coming through a little bit. But yeah, I don't know where that lyric came from. I'm, I apologize for it's that. It's okay, man. I get it. It's a, it's a competitive sport. The Phoenix. goat pepper. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not getting any heat. I'm getting a little bit, a little bit of a sting. Nothing horrible though. Nothing horrible, right? Yeah, not not horrible yet. You're not getting anything? Not really. Maybe on my lips a little bit, not my mouth. Yeah. 10 years of playing, you've been involved in a couple of beefs with your teammates and your ex-teammates. Which one of those was the most stressful during the situation? <clears throat> Probably me and Formal. Yeah? Yeah. Just because like, it was so, such a bad situation. Cause like, we couldn't practice cause I was in Cali. Oh, while you were playing. I don't know if that's why we were beefing to start with, but yeah. there was like a month stretch of time where I couldn't practice. Like I was red barring every single day. I had a, a technician out every single day, like trying to fix this yeah. and they didn't know how to fix it. So imagine like me, I'm losing full. I'm yeah. like, I'm red barring in practice every day. Meanwhile, we're already losing. We haven't won anything yet that year and I'm doing everything in my power to fix it, but nothing's working. And 
just day by day, it's just like more and more and more and more annoying. Mm -hmm. And people give me shit for this, and they just expected me to get up and move. Yeah. Like, I had a lease for like eight more months. Like, I couldn't just get up and leave. Yeah. It was just a weird time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can, I can imagine. That was, one does sound stressful, because the other ones were like outside of the game, and that one was so much in the game that it was probably a lot more stressful. Mm -hmm. All right. Next week. Here we go. My lips are burning. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, on Hot Ones, they do explain that, Graham. Have you seen Hot Ones? Yeah. So, we got some pictures for you. And we're just going to show you the pictures. And I'll, I want you to talk a little bit more about each picture, okay? Okay. Here's the first one. <clears throat> hate that picture. <laughs> is that all you have to say? Hate it. That was your birthday, though. Hate it. You let? Is that when you were letting? I things? told people to bow down to me. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't like I had some sort of god complex. It was just like I was so hyped and I didn't moment. know what to do. And I was called the king, so I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I hate that picture. I can't believe I did that. Yeah. Ashamed. But it's a it's a staple moment in COD history. Ashamed. Yeah, I get that. <clears throat> what a night. What a night. What a night. I'm, wow. I'm mad I'm not in that picture. What a night. Very jealous. What a mashup. I remember I was outside mm -hmm. with Matt, I think. I was outside with Matt. We were on like the like balcony outside where the grill was. And Dirk just comes up behind us and he was like, yo. Got a light, and I turned around, and I was like, what? And it was a little dark, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? I was on? just so, like, surprised. And that, he was already very, very popular, but that was right before his, like, skyrocket. Like, yeah. nowadays, he's... Like, he's that guy. A-list, yeah, like... He's that guy. No, nah, he's... What a night, man. He has killed it, but that was a crazy night. Crazy night. Yeah. You Shout remember, out, Bose. Remember the other night where people came over again? The and next we, day. And we were like, we're not having a party. Yeah. The next day, Dirk wasn't even there. Just people showed up. It was like 50 people showed up and was like, oh, we're going to party here. And then Ian met them in the driveway. It was like, no, you're not. No, you're you not. You are not coming. It was so <laughs> weird. It was so strange. Next one. The classic. I was a douche. <laughs> That's impressive, though. You have the genetics. You think you could get back to it? Maybe. You think so? Put on a little weight. Is that when, what was the, what was the thought behind that picture? Thirst trap? Yeah. Respect. Did it work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. All right, last one. Dude. Oh my God. Those motherfuckers were on my case. Dude, Kyle <laughs> kept coming up to me and he was like, you look grotesque. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I'm in a, I'm in the Cowboys like, I'm pretty sure it was the head coach's box or one of his boxes. I don't know exactly how yeah, it was. Yeah. But they were all wearing cowboy stuff. And I walk in with that. And you're playing, they're playing the Eagles. They're playing the Eagles. And you're the only Eagles fan. No, there was a lot more. Oh, there were? Yeah, there were a lot. In the Eagles. box? There was a few Eagles fans oh, okay, in the box, okay, but they were okay. undercover. Not like dressing up like I was. They were undercover. <laughs> the guys behind that were sitting behind me, they were low key like Eagles fans. Oh, okay, okay. But not like me coming in with that. Yeah. He was so they, like, they probably you respected look you. Grotesque. And I was like, Dude, stop. Like, <laughs> I get it. That's a dope picture, though. No, it is a dope picture. <clears throat> All right, next wing? Next wing. Here we go. This might be this might be when it gets there. It's a halfway point. Sean Evans always does this. It's the halfway point. Hey, we're almost we're almost there. Right? That's pretty good. Coco Ghost. <clears throat> oh god. Ghost is in Ghost Pepper? Really? I already took half the wing. It's getting there. It's getting there. You can like, whenever you take the bite and you like the sauce, it's all around your mouth. You feel like yeah. pinging. Like you feel like you're you you feel it in different areas. You feel like it's like bing 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 bing. Mm. But like you know what I'm saying? It's like high. Yeah. And it's building. Yeah. It's there. You doing the whole thing? 
Might as well. I mean, why we can handle it? Mm, Might as well, you know. I mean, they're just big wings. <laughs> like, look at this thing. <clears throat> what kind of chicken's got this leg on it? Look at that. Big ass chicken. <clears throat> big ass chicken. <clears throat> Honestly, not that bad. It's like it's hot, but not that bad yet. Not like excruciating. Not excruciating. The next one's got a lot of sauce on it. My lips are burning. Do they look like they're burning? Yeah. They look like they're burning? They look like you got a little, little thing of lipstick on. The puffy lipstick that you were talking about. All right. <clears throat> All right, never mind. That one's that one's creeping fast. <laughs> it's creeping. I was trying to keep it cool while you were talking shit. No, it's creeping. All right. That one's creeping. Oh, my God. While you were on the Optic competitive team in Modern Warfare 3, Optic was huge in content, and competitive was just like nothing back then. The sniping team was huge, Midnight, D-Treats, and of course, <clears throat> Nate Shot was on an island by himself while you guys had like the actual competitive team. What was the relationship like between the content side of Optic back way back then and the competitive side? And then can you explain like, well, uh, before oh, that was- I can't touch my face. I can't <laughs> touch my face. I was about to touch my face. What was the relationship between the content side and the competitive side before the Nate Shot and Rambo transition and before the view viewership exploded? I don't think there was much of one that I remember. I don't really remember like ever talking to like the the optic content creators like the snipers. I don't really ever remember talking to them. Yeah. Until Nade Shot came along, and then obviously talked to Nade. But yeah. But like all the other content people, yeah, I don't really, so I don't really like, have any recollection of like hanging out with them or. So Hector was like the the. <laughs> shit. Dude, Hector was. <laughs> <clears throat> that one was fucking hot. Yeah. So Hector was the link between both. And so yeah, it was yeah, just it was just like both. Hector. Both were like on their own islands doing their own thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. And nowadays it's like very linked. Like the content creators are right beside the pro players. And uh, yeah, now it's like it's a whole family. Back yeah, then yeah, it yeah. wasn't really like that until when did that switch? Was it twelve thirty five or was it before that? Was it sixty fifty like towards 60, the end of it? Uh, sixty. Well, sixty fifty. Yeah, that's when Nate and Rambo obviously switch, but. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Because, like, y'all didn't really see Ashley and, and Dietrich. I mean, we'd see them at, like, events. Like, we'd see Ashley all the time. Right, right. But, like, the snipers, like, I don't think they would really... Until, like, Pomage. Yeah, like, a few house. of them would be at the events. Like, Predator, I don't... I, he was at one, I remember. Like, yeah. sometimes they would go, but they wouldn't be, like, every event. But, right. like, we didn't really start, like, meshing with content and, like, being a unit until, I would say, probably 1235. Yeah. Maybe the end of 6050, but that was, like, still the competitive team. Yeah. Like, just... You know, I guess doing our I, thing. I guess Nick probably played a big role in that. Even though he was on the Halo team, still they were a competitive. I mean, they were a content team first yeah. until like we moved into the scuff house. So. Yeah, yeah, that was. I mean, because I've always been interested in the in the content versus competitive side and like how we eventually came. Because like I think that's what makes. I think it was so twelve thirty five, and yeah, we I all just lived right. together. And then it was like, all right, now we're you know we're living together. Yeah, that, Pomage, that Pomage moves in, and he's not on any team except. Strictly uh, content. Yeah. So. Shout out Pam. Shout out Pam. Pam. All right. Here we go. You want to go for it? Oh, fuck. Which one's this? Uh, this the is the 13 Angry Scorpions. <laughs> Jekyll and Hyde. Aged Moraga Scorpion oh. and Chipotle barbecue style. Aged Moruga Scorpion. I can feel my ass start sweating. Nah, the bottom of my lip is in pain. Like, <clears throat> my bottom lip is quivering. <clears throat> Good luck. Dude, look at that. Are you going for it? Oh, jeez. <clears throat> I like, do oh my God. I like, don't want to get on my lips. Dude, dude. When you bite into that, it's like, fuck you. <laughs> dude. <laughs> You feel like the heat go to the back of your throat. Is this a one biter? No. No? We're doing the whole thing? Got to. God damn. <clears throat> All right. Dude, look at that. Fucking Raj, man. Yeah, he, he got you. He that hates one. vision. <clears throat> That's hot. Oh my God. We might not want to do the whole thing. I'm just. 
I just it, I just swallowed it and it was like just pain. Oh, do you? Oh my god. Uh, oh, oh, mama. Well, you took two bites, so I'll take two bites. Don't take another bite. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay. Your first. Your first Call of Duty Championships, Black Ops 2. There was a couple month period where you didn't even know if you were gonna go or not. There was a rule. Had to be over 18. And uh, I've heard from a couple people that they made an exception just for you. And there was a little bit of backlash. Obviously some celebratory, some celebratory stuff from the Optic fans and also some, some <clears throat> saltiness from the pros. What was that like from your perspective? I just wanted to play. Everyone else didn't want me to play. Right. But I wanted to play so bad. So when they changed, I was really happy. I didn't think I was going to play. What did you, were you making calls and stuff? Or were you letting other people? No, play? no, I didn't make a single call. So you're just waiting? Just waiting. Dude. <laughs> Dude. That is so hot. What the fuck? It like, they creep. Yeah. Oh, they creep. They creep. Like, the cocoa crept. Like it wasn't that hot when you're eating it, but after you're done eating it, it just, he comes. Yeah. Dude, that's hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. No, I'm, do I'm doing good. But yeah, now that I can kind of answer the question more, I didn't know what was happening. I right. thought, I didn't think I was gonna play. I got the call up to play, super hype, got third again, fuck. <laughs> Could have won that one too. <laughs> It wasn't for the cap 30 cap 40 if it wasn't for the cap 30 dude oh my god yeah the 1v2 I remember it was like it was yesterday not Shut fun up. he didn't even have toughness on either which was the worst part oh oh my god here we go one biters the bomb evolutions you have to control your breathing just so this is kind of like, it's like when you're competing in a match you have to control your breathing or it's yeah. just gonna get you oh shit <sighs> all right here we go let's touch let's touch tips. look at mine compared to yours mine is a mine is a aggressive red flavor i don't know man these are both pretty bad <sighs> bro bro that is horrendous that's the worst flavor of anything I put in my mouth. That's fucked up. Dude, it's not, <laughs> it's horrible. It's hor it's horrible. Dude, the flavor is not good. It's, t it's a terrible flavor. It tastes flavor. like gas. <laughs> <sighs> okay. We two bite these. We two bite them? We two bite these. All right. Other side? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not letting you talk me into a three bite. True or false? They called your name at graduation as Optic Scumpy instead of Seth Abner. True. Did you ever let... Everyone went nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone went nuts because they knew you were a celebrity? Online celebrity? I wasn't a celebrity at that point. I'm still did, not a celebrity, really. Did you ever let the online fame get into your head in high school? No. Never. No? Uh-uh. Just at events? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Also, side note, if we're talking about high school. I never, like, I didn't feel like like anything in high school. Like, I was just. You're just a dude? Yeah. That play video games at night? Uh-huh. Wow, bro. Wow. Fuck that. Um, if we're talking about high school, I heard you, you played a prank on your prom date and how you asked her to prom. Can you explain how you did that? No, I didn't. You didn't call her to the office? Oh, yeah, I did. Called her to the office, made her think she, like she was getting she was in, trouble. in trouble. Cause she was like a goody goody, like she never got in trouble. Yeah. But I'm in trouble right now. <laughs> oh fuck, bro. Oh man. Shit, dude. Dude. That is so hot. Mm -hmm. Shut the fuck up. You're fucking me, right? 
What? It's a six times jump? Dude, we're fucked. Dude, oh are you my serious? God. I can't feel my tongue. All right, fuck no. it. No. No, not yet. How could anything get that hot? Dude, you look like you're struggling. Dude, he does this. He does this four times a month. Otherwise, I know this once a week. Like I my see you mouth? laughing, Maddie. I don't like it. My mouth feels like it's deteriorating. Dude, while I'm like in I've, pain. I feel like I have vertigo. Dude, I can't think. Yeah. I, I feel, feel like, like the room is yeah, like. Just... All right. <sighs> Cheers. May the odds be ever in your favor. I feel like I'm gonna pass the <laughs> fuck out. <laughs> All right. All right, we've seen the arena shooter titles. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. God. <laughs> arena shooter titles. Once, once we're Titans, we're talking Halo, Call of Duty, Gears of War. But now they're always struggling to compete with the viewership that Battle Royale brings. As a competitive player, as a competitive player, Oh my God, dude, that should be illegal. As, co as a competitive player, what <laughs> what advice would you give Activision 343 Epic and to make the arena shooters once again compete and parallel with Battle Royale titles? Better maps, hands down. I think right now, I think the mechanics and gunplay are all right. I hate slide canceling personally. You're talking about in Halo and Call of Duty. You hate the advanced movement? I don't hate it. I just think it's gimmicky. But it also works. So I don't really know where to put it. Yeah. I just don't like it because I'm getting older and it's so much stress on your hands. Yeah. So like after 10 hours, like it's hard on your hands. Back then it wasn't that bad. Because there wasn't as many actions per minute. Now it's like you're doing like 10 to 30 actions per minute of life. Maybe even, you could do 100 actions per minute of life. Like maybe, if you're yeah. if you're like frying. Oh my God. <clears throat> Bro. And as far, as far as the viewership aspect, how do you, how do you get an arena title to get that like? I mean, we have viewers because of storylines. Right. Others, esports need storylines, that's it. Like are, the games are struggling. Halo, they need more. Like they, they put out a great like bare bones. product, bare bones, but then they need more. Yeah. They need more. Oh my God. Cause you don't get that. Extra mean green pucker butt. <laughs> Cause you don't get my that. My butt's pucker. <laughs> you don't get that natural storyline with like a, oh. you drop in on the bus and you try to win the game. Yeah, there's always a story. Yeah. <sighs> So you need to build that. You can play a million different games. None of them are going to be the same. Mm -hmm. That's why it's exciting. We play Call of Duty right now. Every Everything could be the same. Yeah. But that's just how arena shooters are. So it needs to come down to having really good structured maps. Yeah. Good gunplay, good guns. And there needs to be better cosmetic stuff. Oh, my God. I think a part of the storyline in, in in arena shooters used to be that the, the, the lobby stayed the same. <laughs> So you could talk shit to one dude. Yeah, that was always fun. Still be playing the same dude four hours later. Mm -hmm. Nowadays it breaks every lobby and so you don't get that. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a, a five minute ordeal and then you go back into it for the completely new uh, set of people. Dude, we're really doing this shit. We're doing it, we're doing it. We're doing this shit. It is so hot. I like spicy food for everyone out there and holy shit. <laughs> Oh my God, my tongue is numb. Like, I can't feel my tongue anymore. Good luck, soldier. Holy shit. How much did you do? Just a little, just a little. You said this is two million? What? This is two million? Yeah. Go big or go home. We did it, or we almost done it. We're one wing away from the one gauntlet. Away. I've always secretly wanted to do this. 
Not after match day, though. <laughs> what about before match day? No. <laughs> I would get... Right. Oh, my God. I can't imagine what this is going to taste like and feel like. I literally can't imagine. I, I'm, I'm stalling because I can't fucking imagine. One, two, three. Bro. Holy fucking shit. Bro. bro. <laughs> nah. Nope. Dude. Oh my god. That All is right. that is hell. Dude, we did. That is Satan. Last wing. So the last question, make it easy on you. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a word or a phrase. You rate it on a scale of one to ten. Okay? Snow. One. One? You hate Fuck snow? snow? It's a lot of snow in Pennsylvania? Huh? A lot of snow in Pennsylvania? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna ride this one out. I'm gonna let it fucking... <clears throat> I'm gonna take this shit. Okay. I'm gonna finish that wing. Fuck! I have to get mine out of the trash. Or do you have another wing? <clears throat> oh, fuck. I have to dab it again. We're not fucking cowards. No, no, no. I'll get it. We're going out like fucking champions. Bro, I just gave me a wing. I'm riding it out, too. I wanna feel this pain. It makes me feel alive! <laughs> Hamsters. Uh, intro pet. One. One? Actually, no. They're cute as hell. Yeah. I'm almost seven. But they are an intro pet. Intro pet? Did you ever have hamsters? I've always... Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. I have to dab this motherfucker again. I've always said people get hamsters to learn about pets and loss. Yeah. Because hamsters always... Always die. Yeah, <laughs> they do. So I feel like not people... everything always does, but hamsters do. I've heard that before too. <sighs> the hamsters always die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me. I've heard. I've just heard in it unfortunate ways too. I wrote it out. I can't go any longer. Yeah, I have to eat this again. But they're cute as hell, man. Did you ever have hamster? No, we had no. a we had a ferret once. Ferrets versus hamsters. Hamsters. His name was Jaws because he bit. Dude, are you fucking serious? I might yak. <laughs> Scale of one to ten. Right, Crumbs Porsche. Crumbs ten, Porsche. Ten, ten. Ten? That's cool. Pot wings. Ten. Ten. It's fun. It's usually not this, this painful. Art and Forest. One. Uh, the flank. Ten. Good. It's good shit right there. It was like the weekly rant. Uh, Donovan McNabb. Ten. Ten. Hometown hero. Hometown hero. Uh, public sniping community. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not in it. Dude. Call of Duty formal. Ten. Halo formal. Ten. Ten all around. So good. Last question. Optic gaming. Ten thousand Ten. million. Ten million. Ten thousand million. We made it. This camera, this camera, this camera. <laughs> Tell your people who you want. That is the hottest thing I'll ever eat. Well, dude, I, I I might pass out. I'm gonna lay down. We did it. <laughs> Shout out again to Hot Ones. Even though you're not sponsoring this community, we are using your incredibly successful series for our own series. Go buy the Hot Ones and interview your friends. And you'll find out we're not fucking joking. We'll put the link in the description. Thank you, all you guys, for watching. Thank you to Seth for doing it. Subscribe to the channel, please. Goodbye.